I've always wanted to do crazy ventures. I just love exposure, I love big open spaces, I love challenges, physical challenges um, in particular. Um, rowing an ocean is so out of your element, you know, this, why would you, you know, this sail power, these motors, this, this is, you know, physical, mental, you know, it is one of the best, as far as I'm concerned, sort of tests. I don't, I don't see it as, you know, I'm injured, I, I need to prove myself, you know, I need to make sure that people don't think I'm an invalid, I need to go and do things, it's nothing to do with that. It's, this is the person that I was beforehand, and I've been given an opportunity to participate in a similar sort of venture and absolutely going to get involved in it. So. Born in South Africa, I uh, grew up in a pretty adventurous family, um, grew up on a farm, uh, always participated in outdoor sports and yeah my family, my father and uncles had all served in the South African military so I decided to come and join the British Army as I was allowed in a Commonwealth country, so I came and joined, wanted to see a bit of combat. The 2nd of May 2012, um, I was with the Brigade Reconnaissance Force uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, we had just had a successful raid on an um, enemy compound. Uh, we found a lot of uh, HME, which is their homemade explosive, which they make the IEDs out of. We've got my sergeant here as the, the man that's filming at the moment, and then I was, I was the bloke behind him. On the way back to the patrol base, we were contacted, we were ambushed. Uh, we fought our way through. As we start moving down, I'm now behind him. Bang, there you go. Is everyone all right? Suddenly, ears were screaming and I was all a bit dizzy. Oh, that's a double amputee. All right, you're going to deal with me, yeah? Right, cool. I was with a very small group of guys and they were all fantastic guys. Right, stop it, don't smoke! Um, very well trained. Um, they got me uh, medevaced, so they got me on the Mert within minutes. You know, it was amazing how quickly it actually got me on and out of there. The first time I watched it was in hospital actually because I was you know obviously pretty damn rattled at this point. It, it was very useful to me. I was in a coma for 48 days uh, induced. Uh, my lungs had collapsed. I had obviously lost both legs immediately. My left hand was smashed up. My face was very badly um, damaged in the blast. Well, I mean, going back to the first moment that I woke up in hospital, immediately I thought, you know, what, what on earth am I going to do now? But, you know, I couldn't even sit up, I was that weak at that point. Um, and once they were quite happy with you in hospital with getting around, moving in a wheelchair, etc., um, they then sent me down to Headley Court. In April this year, I got a phone call from James Kyle um, letting me know about the row, was I interested, to which I obviously said yes immediately. Uh, when I told my friends and family about the row, they were sort of mixed emotions, definitely. Um, initially, I think there was a bit of panic set in um, from the parents. Um, there was a definite silence on the end of the phone. Um, you know, a couple of tears, but just, I think they were more overwhelmed by the fact that I wasn't lying down, I wasn't giving up. The biggest concern is sleep deprivation and hallucinations and all these kind of things. Um, we know more or less what to expect on the mental side of things. It doesn't really matter that much that Scott and I are injured to the sort of level that we are. You know, we still have full upper body you know, capacity. I mean, my hands are a bit smashed, but physically we're strong. And, you know, it's nothing but a Velcro and some duct tape can't fix. I don't regret getting involved so far. It's been a great experience, and I'm looking forward to getting out in the water now.